Charlie Cannon, Charlie Cannon, boom, 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 we are not pirates. Hello and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Carlin Gaming Super Smash Brothers Spring Break Bowser Amiibo Challenge. Woo, woo, got it all out, got yeah, it thanks. all out. Always, always. Always, okay. Yeah, I'm feeling good today, guys. I feel like today might be the day. It's honestly surprising me at this point that you haven't done it on camera because I've watched you do it so many times. I have times. defeated all of them, them off camera. Yes. yes. Jay, so Jay has gotten considerably better at the game since we started playing. Well, I was doing for so long, me and you would come up here and I would play this maneuver with Wolf where I would just like tick and tack them like 3% at a time and hopefully eventually land a thing. I got really good with Wolf doing that. Yeah. And then one day we were like, what if we tried Ganondorf? And it was just like, boom, 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 we they're dead. We pirates. Yeah, so um, <laughs> it's it's not not doable with Wolf, but it's much easier with Ganondorf. Yeah, the dwarf. The, the big big Chudley Ganon, as we call him here. Yeah. Yeah, so anyway though, we need a we need a roll to we see a, who we're playing. Who we're playing and who's going first. Oh, All right, well I rolled for who goes first first. Oh, right. okay. And who's that, that is Derek. Oh, no, gosh, it's big, like watching a big Derek. Having having tape is very helpful with this particular endeavor. And he's gonna be playing number four. Oh, Jowser! 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 Who do we want to see get beat up today, folks? <laughs> oh, I mean, we got to go Godzilla vs. King Kong, right? Yeah, absolutely. Oops, so. hold on. <laughs> that's, one that's, second, one that's a bad idea. second. Hang on, I'll figure out that. Oh, nope, oh, oh no. I, well, it's okay. We'll scan him back. John and I screwed up. Yeah, there he goes. We're so professional. We have uh, very much. You would. There he is. I'll tell you what, you wouldn't know that we do this every week. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Oh, Big Jowza going down. I, I like oh, this Godzilla versus King Kong. That, yeah. that feels very. It's Don a great narrative. Donkey Kong's the only one who has a victory at all in this game. Yeah. On this particular challenge. Yeah. Which has been our slowest moving challenge so far. Mm -hmm. Of any of the things. Although, honestly, Jeez. as long as we do it in less than 90 episodes, we'll still beat the Mario Kart thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Fair. All right, so we have a question today from Erin Sue. She says, hey folks, is there any chance you have advice on dealing Boom. with imposter syndrome? I'm in university, have had great opportunities, and just got offered the internship of my dreams. Yes. But I kind of feel like all I've done is luck out. I'm passionate about my field of study and prioritize my academics, but I don't feel like I'm hardworking or intelligent enough, and I have a horrible procrastination habit. If I'm faking it and making it, then it's not satisfying because it feels so unearned. And it's really hard to be optimistic or excited when I feel like I don't deserve it. Oh my gosh. I you know, know exactly I feel like I'm feel. just not qualified to uh, answer, answer question. questions about imposter syndrome. And oh I keep on getting gosh. people, you know, they ask me about these, uh, you know, the, the imposter syndrome. And I'm sorry. Uh, would, would anybody, for those, would anybody like to explain imposter syndrome Ooh. in case they couldn't surmise it from, uh, from the question there? Basically, it is exactly what she describes in the question wherein you are capable enough to do whatever it is you are doing, but because of, like, uh, you don't feel good enough to do it, then you are unable to take any pleasure away from whatever it is you're doing because you feel like all the praise is unearned. No, 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 no. Like, no, 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 you don't feel like you're worthy, basically. It's like, it's like picking up Mjolnir and being like, I don't think so. <laughs> This it can't isn't right. Be. I, I See, just why, isn't right. Why can't tasks be more like Mjolnir, where it's like when it happens, it's like, oh my gosh, I'm worthy. Like it, exactly. it gets to decide for you. Right, because it's, instead you're sitting in an office and you're being told whether or not you're worthy by people who oh, are on. obviously trying to manage you in a way that's beneficial to them and you don't know whether it's simply management or if you're actually good at it. And the answer is, if you were bad at it, they're gonna let you know. Um, so yeah, like Bowser to me right now. Uh, <laughs> you did pretty good, man. Sure. I you did great. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go stand over here. Oh boy. Oh, yeah. Experience the I'm gonna, a classic standoff in the corner. Dude, I didn't get any notes from last time. Was was Jay's voice like more distant from the like microphone? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. So we could barely hear him. Oh, well, we could hear him. It's just he sounds like he's you know five feet away. Or he's he's essentially in a different room. All right, all right. <laughs> that's all fine. We got this, you guys. But but standing, standing definitely I helps. Am totally standing. I am totally 100% focused on this fight. 
Not okay, so Derek, tell me more about why you don't suffer from imposter syndrome. No, I was joking. Oh, because uh, you because do? I, because, yeah, because I was saying like I have imposter syndrome before people ask me about imposter syndrome. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, That was oh, the joke. Oh, I see. You might have not have played. Sorry. No, it's okay. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> so, okay. Boom! Thanks, Get Jonathan. This, um, this office in particular is rampant oh. with imposter syndrome. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure that oh. four out of five of us have it. Wait, who knows um, it? You. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Do you feel I like you have a budget? At uh, my old job, but I'll, I'll talk about sure. it later. Okay, okay. Sure. No, I I think I think oh, that um, okay. we got to avoid him on the vulnerability part. This is I, the hard part. There there are there have plenty of people who have explained to me before that all of the effort and time and energy that I put into Super Carlin Brothers despite not being uh, particularly adept at uh, video production is oh, part wow. of what has allowed me to be here, but it is absolutely the case that, especially in the beginning as the channel started to take off, uh, I very frequently felt like most of the success of the channel was thanks to Jay, and I just so happened to be the brother lucky enough to oh. be a part of it. Oh, that was almost awesome! Ooh. Wow. Ooh. Wow. I, I mean, it was fun. still awesome, um, just that he's Something that really stands out to me, yes. like Ben, yeah, as, yeah. as oh an God. example of your imposter syndrome is, oh okay. we've okay. talked about like doing Harry Potter trivia before in, in not office settings. And you're always like, oh, I just don't know if I'm gonna be all that good at it. And I don't know if it's because the person that you're constantly facing is Jay, who knows just as much, if not more, about Harry Potter than you do. That's sure. Right, more. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, everybody knows. <laughs> but like, I, I think the benchmark that you're setting for yourself is unrealistic because you expect yourself to be 100% perfect. Yeah, right, and then that's oh! exactly, like, oh! Oh, get out of here, Jowser, you crushed him, man. Oh my gosh. Jowser is defeated. And we got, oh, no, Jay, we weren't recording, dude. Uh, yeah, we gotta <laughs> You know what, you know what, I'm gonna hit save replay. Save replay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, we did it. I, this hasn't oh. happened. Do we do we pick a new amiibo or does Ben just have a go as well? Uh, ben should have we a go as well. I don't, I don't know how we don't have a contingency plan. <laughs> <laughs> what happens when we win? What happens when we win? <laughs> do we uh, do we uh, chasing cars? Act, ben like we, act like we've been here before, guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, guys, so. it's obvious I have to face <laughs> him too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. um, what happened? What were we doing? Oh, because I was the third one. Because you were the last one. one. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. Okay, I don't know what it is about Incineroar's color selector, but for some reason, when you first select him, if you try to like toggle through, it takes forever for it to show up. It does not for all of them. No, it's just is Incineroar. It? <laughs> just Incineroar. No, I'm, I'm special. Yes. <laughs> I'm special. You know what else? That's I the think? opposite I of imposter when, uh... syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's... <laughs> Woo! Oh that, my God. Was, that was great. Oh, boy. Um, so, Jake, something that you said was that, Boom! Uh, yes. Oh, gosh. Essentially, if, if they thought that you weren't good enough, they would tell you. Oh, well, that's the thing. That's right. Like, if you're, like, at a regular office job or corporate America or, you know, whatever, oh. whatever the case is, they are not uh, interested in you being bad at your job and babying you, right? Like... They want you to be good at your job, or they want a good, capable employee. And so, if you're, um... oh, that works way too well. That's unfair. No, it's not unfair. It's just you know. So if well. you're failing, <laughs> I feel like that's when they're going to tell you. Um, like it, it's going to come up eventually. And if they're if you're doing it right now, and it feels so easy, like you're not even having to put in effort, good for you. You're actually awesome at it. Yeah, that, <laughs> maybe that's, that's it. the answer. Like, <laughs> oh, uh, I remember feeling this way all the time. They're like, I don't even know what oh, I'm no. doing. Oh, no. I didn't study this topic. I'm just like, I'm just doing what I feel like is obvious, and I don't even have to put in that much effort. And people would were like praising me and saying like, oh, great job. This you know, growth is amazing. You know, we're selling lots of tickets, and it was like. Okay, and I, it always felt like you're just lying to me to make me feel better because I personally know I'm not good at this. And it was like, no, I was good at it. Um, it it's just, it's very, you're, you're your worst, you know, critic. And uh, if, if, you're, if they're telling you you're good, then it's because you're good. And because the, other, the thing is, if you were bad, they'd tell you you were bad. Okay, so what about this thought though? Like, 
Part of being good at something is that the task doesn't feel difficult as a function of you being good at it, uh, which sure. I think is a manipulative element yeah. because it's like, you should feel like you were having to like take punishment in the process of succeeding. But like, I almost do feel you, like- Do you feel that way? You should be taking punishment. In not, not like take, like it like it should, it should be feel like, challenging. Right, like, like you want like a, it's, that's probably what it amounts to. This job isn't very challenging for you. Sure, and, yeah. and maybe that's 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 part of what the case may be. And it sounds like so far it's got a lot more to do with the selection process and not maybe that job itself or the the question asker that we actually have today. Um, so J won. So should uh, maybe just Ben and DK take on Jowser together? Oh, oh okay. Oh. That sounds fun. That's can just the, can the two can your powers combined be as good as you? Be as good. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, but before we go on to uh, have Derek and I face on Jowser to see if our powers combined can be anywhere equal to Jay's, we have a quick word from today's Patreon sponsor of the day. Today's sponsor is Clark, who, in case you didn't know, is in fact Superman. Clark says. <laughs> It's a dangerous business going out your door. You step onto the road, and if you don't keep your feet, there's no knowing where you might be swept off to. But not if you're going to one of the SCB meetups. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thanks, Clark. Ah, How about that? Is that Sneaky a token plug. plug. Yeah, I don't, I don't actually know what the it's a quote is. JR I love token. It. That's... Oh, right. that, that. Am I making that up? You might be right. I don't know. I, I didn't that this sounds up. like a very uh, Bilbo y yeah, right? yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, kind yeah, of way yeah, to yeah. phrase something. Now, Clark, of course, is coming to our Spartan race. Heck yeah. Oh, man. Which I am ridiculously excited oh, about. Um, information oh, for oh, the Spartan oh, race can only be located in our Discord, um, which, is, oh. uh, which is a Patreon perk. Um, but if you ever felt like running a Spartan race with us and you want to check it out, you can do so by uh, the $3 level on either Super Carlin Gaming or Super Carlin Brothers Patreon yeah. pages. Yeah, can. And also meetups. I mean, we've got those all. Oh, sorry, I didn't pick All here. summer and, and, and such. Yeah, yeah, we have a, a whole slate of meetups left the rest of this year. We had our first one a couple weeks ago. We saw Endgame, and it was a total oh, blast. This isn't it a was team pretty battle. good. You gotta go back. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Sorry. Well, then we'll definitely lose. All right, <laughs> hold on. Where do we go? Quit? Quit. Quit. All right. Just no quit. contest. <laughs> Where just wanted to give more time to talk about uh, yeah. the meetups and or imposter syndrome. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of imposter syndrome, Ben, what happens when we can't defeat <laughs> jobs or buck combined? I don't want to. Uh, okay. All right. Okay. You guys are totally going to win. Don't be ridiculous. Uh, oh, okay. So speaking about meetups and imposter syndrome, mm -hmm. this is such a thing that happens uh, with our meetups where every, every time one comes about, the week leading up to it, I get very, very anxious because I'm like, why, why? people Whoa. surely do not want to spend money to like meet me. Yeah. <laughs> like I, I am going to let them down so hard. It seems like most of the time people have a great time there, so. Um, yeah, I, I have never heard any negative feedback related to you guys. Only like, oh, the, the theater lineup was confusing or something like that. But Only things you're in charge of. <gasps> right, exactly. <laughs> the, the things that are my responsibility and therefore my fault. <laughs> what? No. Oh uh -oh. my goodness. Uh -oh, wow, guys. wow, Jowser is so Oh no! Oh gosh. oh gosh, you guys. I don't want to say he's KO'd both of you and only taken 11%, but, but that's what's happened. But I mean, it's not not what's happened. Oh, I, uh, come on! There you go. I had a oh, bit of imposter syndrome. How does he get out of that so quickly? I had a bit of imposter syndrome in grad school because um, the first couple of years sort of just, just felt very right. And then I got into the, the more challenging stuff, which was fine. And I felt like I was working hard at it. But my mentor in particular um, basically said oh, that he boom, didn't boom. think that I was good enough and didn't deserve to be there. And that was really awful. Yeah, well, that was that, just about that like a terrible mentor. What oh, God. Heck? Well, so I think what it was, so everyone else on my committee said that the work that they saw from me was high quality and they thought that I was progressing at a reasonable rate. I was just my mentor's very first student. Oh my gosh. And so he had only ever worked with people who were, were postdocs, so people who had already gone through grad school and possibly even worked in the field for like five years. So he, he was comparing me to higher level people and part of that I was comparing myself to higher level people as well because the only other people what? in the lab were people who were a decade older and had a decade more in in science, essentially. Right. 
So if you have imposter syndrome when you're preparing yourself to like people oh, who no! have been in the field for an extremely long time or it's okay. already doing that job, like it's Ow. okay to be new and need to learn things. Um, and that doesn't necessarily mean that you're bad at it. It just means that like things are new. Just give me get one. Him, just give me one. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. You got there him. it is. Yeah. All yeah. Right, just two one more. kill. There All we right. go. There we go. Well, okay, well, uh, almost. <laughs> we were almost there, Derek. I feel like just a little extra. Uh, if I had to like the edge, they did do a little SD self-destruct. There. I uh, I think I played better against him solo. I am not Incineroar in particular is not good when this platforms are in play because I like his up smash. Oh, and it, sure. it just can't land because sure. the platforms are. I thought it would be better me. if we were able to uh, to spacer. Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's all good. Um. Okay, so I would say, like, my my final tidbit of advice as it pertains to imposter syndrome is that more often than not is what it means is you haven't proven to yourself yet that you are good at the task. And that is probably, like, you're always so worried that everybody else is going to notice it, but really what it means is that you haven't noticed that you're good at it yet. To right. the point where you've built right. up enough confidence. Well, it's, it's this common thing that I think just about everybody has, where if some stranger uh, walked up to you and told you that, you know, you're not good enough, you'd tell them to glue their hands to a bus. And, but, if, <laughs> but, if, but if you say it to yourself, it's the voice of reason. Right. You know yeah. what I mean? So right. I think that everybody has that. So. Yes. Yeah. There's, I mean, there's all, there's, it's so hard if you feel like you're barely trying, or like you, you personally, like, maybe you're not enjoying yourself at work and so you're just sort of like phoning it in and everyone's praising you, it can feel like, uh, that that can be a weird thing too. Like, I'm not even, I know I'm, like, not like, even I'm, like, I'm not even trying. Like, like <laughs> that can make you feel like, you're sure. all, you all must be lying to me because I'm not even trying. Yeah. And that, all, all it means is, yeah, probably that you're just not, not being challenged um, at your current place of work. And sure. Doesn't mean you're not good at it though. Probably means, uh, probably means you're too good at it. Probably means you're too good at it, so go for that promotion. You got it. Yes. Yeah. Anyway, but, guys, anyways. thanks so much for tuning in. Be sure to let us know your own personal experiences with imposter syndrome, or if you want some life advice, we're here to help. Leave all your thoughts and comments and questions in the title section down below. Yeah, please do. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And oh my god, we beat another amiibo. Woo! Yes! Happy day. Get Look how full of the trophy case is. Oh, yeah, there's gross. two of them. There's two of them. It's getting a little crowded. <laughs> it is, it is. But we can do it. Yeah. Yes, Jonathan can do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, until next time. Charlie Cannon, Charlie Cannon. Boom, boom, boom. We are not pirates.